Your dad here, Kim, the anime Margaret Boxes, love things geeky here on YouTube. So this is going to be a like Walking Dead companion podcast review, theories, reaction video, everything over the top of it. If you're actually looking for The Walking Dead, season second, episode one, you can go sign up to AMC's website, you can get all the seasons there, you can go sign up to iTunes, get a season pass, or you can go on Project Free TV like I'm doing. Shh, AMC gave me a bit of a slap on the wrist the last time I did that, but uh, whatever, here we go. So we're going to start the episode off, let's see what's going down. Oh, fuck's sake. So, starting off, our boy Rick, obviously he's just witnessed someone getting their face bashed in because he's got the blood going down his face, and Negan's like, was the joke that bad? It probably was, Negan. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see who dies in this episode. Is it going to be Glenn? Is it going to be, like, Michonne? Is it going to be Daryl? Um, a lot of people have said it's Maggie, like there was some leaked footage that I've seen of Maggie getting her head caved in and she spits out her teeth at Negan. But a lot of people in that video were saying to me, oh that was like test footage, it's not actual the real death. Because the Spoiling Dead has said that it's Glenn and it's Abraham. And the Spoiling Dead fans, uh, that website is never ever wrong. So it's hard to bet against them. But we're getting that, if you saw the trailer, Rick going, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. I'm going to show you in the comic books where he probably says that. Where is it? Where is it? Actually, I think I might have landed straight on it. Oh, Negan's sucking his gums. Here we go. Here we go. Rick, like, I'm going to kill you. If you know what this is, this is the artist proofed edition Walking Dead. It's like two, three times the size of a regular comic. They're amazing. Anyway, so Trevor, aka Simon, his right hand man, is like, hey, what's Rick's weapon of choice? It's a hatchet. Which is weird, because Rick throughout the series, correct me if I'm wrong, has been using a machete more than he uses the hatchet. And in the, the comic, pretty much, he is a, an axe man, basically. Oh, uh, so is Rick's... Uh, fuck, let me, let me get my shit together. <laughs> so Negan's like, have you got a right-hand man? Was it one of the people I knocked over the head? <laughs> so... The best thing to do one of these like compilation reaction videos is if you like line it up exactly with what I'm you know watching. So at the moment I'm technically at two minutes thirty four. So line it up, you know, and then in the comment section down below put you know what you know what you think about certain scenes that I'm going to bring up and you know all that sort of stuff. The reactions to who gets killed. I've been waiting there like everybody a whole year. Is it been a year? I think it's been a year. For this episode, like, I'm super hyped for it. So, uh, this is the part, if you've seen the trailer, where Rick gets pulled into the uh, RV with ne Negan. So everyone was like, oh shit, is, uh, is Rick going to get like, his hand chopped off or something like that? Uh, I doubt it, because uh, I know Robert Kirkman was always saying, like, um, one of the things he likes regrets the most is, one of them was, like, killing Tyrese at, at the prison, and the other one was uh, Rick getting his hand cut off. Well, I think I think Rick later on with the, like, the hook hand looks badass, but we've already seen Mel do it. Oh, so Negan's dragging him in. Oh, Negan's like the ones that are left. So where, where, what is Negan going to do to Rick in that trailer? Oh, shit. It's, it's panning down. Oh, look at all that brain matter and blood and shit. A lot of people said that that is a ring in the corner there. So we'll see if Maggie does get a head caved in. It is her. Oh, oh how has the new intro changed? Because usually every season the intro changes up a little bit. At the moment I don't see any different scenes. I don't think they've changed anything. Oh, wait a minute. There's a bloody axe. I don't think they've changed anything up for the season 7 intro. Usually there's like slight little differences, right? I would have thought maybe you would have seen like Lucille or something. The Walking Dead. So it begins. 40 minutes of greatness. Deliver. Oh, so Rick's chucked in the RV. What is going to happen? <laughs> oh, Negan put his uh, hatchet through the table. Oh, shit. Rick's like cowering in the corner in the darkness at the moment. Negan's just sitting there. 
<laughs> Negan's gonna take Rick for a ride. Like, how <laughs> how random is that shit? Where the fuck are they going? Aren't all the roads blocked off anyway by Negan's men? <laughs> the RV's not working. <laughs> Don't enrage Negan anymore. <gasps> Rick's like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Negan's like, did you see what just happened? What did your people? You ain't gonna kill shit. This is Negan. Oh. Negan's like, like your your best chance is to get to get that and like drive it in the back of my head. Will Rick? Will Rick? Gonna, oh, Negan's like, see how you do. Is Rick gonna go for it? N Negan will mess Rick up. Oh, Rick's going for it. Oh, he pulled out an M16 out of nowhere. <laughs> Come on, Rick, just just hatch it in. You might you might take a couple of rounds to the chest, but Negan will go with you probably. <laughs> Revenge whoever just got killed. It has to, it has to be someone on uh, Rick's right. Who who's on the right of Rick? You got Abraham, Glenn, Michonne, Rosita. Oh, Negan's like, don't make me get up again. Wow, look at that. It's a new day. It's a brand new day, Rick. Yes, it is. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, Negan's just playing the mind games. You know, think about what I just did and think about what could still happen if you fuck around with Negan. And they're off. They're off on their little ride. I do apologise for using my phone in a live reaction, but, you know. It's going to be a struggle for talk. Oh, fuck. We get Rick's flashing back to Rosita. Why? I could care less if Rosita died. Oh! Negan just ran over a zombie and, like, loads of mucusy blood shit splattered everything. And he's like, remind you of anyone I know? Oh, who have you killed, Negan? Oh, flash forward into Glenn. Oh, fuck. They're just going to tease the shit out of us, aren't they? They're just going to tease us. Rick looks traumatised big time. Oh, Negan's just sitting next to him. Probably going to talk a load of shit in mind games. Oh, Negan's like, you are mine. Your people are mine. I'm really intrigued to see how they're going to do the all-out war arc. There is a rumour as well that the Whisperers, uh, they're going to show up in this season. And I'm a bit like, man, is that not... You know, maybe at the very end of, well, maybe at the very end of this season. But I'm hoping... Well, I don't know how long this season is. But um, if this whole season is all-out war, then yeah, maybe I might be alright with that. But I'd rather have them turn up in like season 8, like episode 1 or some shit. There's still quite a, a tad to cover. If you think at the moment, they're on issue like 100. Oh, Negan chucked his hatchet out there and he's like, Hey Rick, go get, go get my axe. And there's like a load of zombies. Oh, Lucille just took out a zombie. The vampire bat. Feast on that blood. You gotta wonder, how is Lucille not broken? It is like a wooden bat, right? Surely, surely like a fucking uh, aluminium metal bat that's like stronger than wooden probably crack someone over the head with that once and it'll probably snap go get his axe Rick oh and he can just chuck him out the door there's, there's got to be like 20 zombies out there oh flash into Sasha oh shit they're, they're just going to dick tease us big time they're going to dick tease us oh and Rick's getting attacked by the zombies in like this mist and darkness oh now we're on Eugene Flashing like little scenes from Eugene. Oh, zombies are going after Rick. Rick is weaponless. Oh, Aaron. Flashing of Aaron. So far, I don't care if Aaron dies or Rosita dies. So, Abraham. Well, Abraham's looking stern. Like, fuck you, man. Oh, there's Maggie. Oh, Maggie's on the chopping block, I think. Death flags. Oh, Rick is in trouble. Climb, Rick, climb. 
Rick's climbing to the top of the RV. Whoa. So there's a fair amount of zombies. Uh, I think it's one of those barricades that Negan's group set up. And there's a lot of zombies out there. Lucky's got his axe. <laughs> Rick just looking around. Oh, so there's that uh, guy. I think he's from... Is he from Hilltop? The one they hung? Oh, wrote as uh, Michonne. Michonne flashbacks. Was it one of the, uh, the Hilltop guys that got hung from the bridge? I think it was, right? He's just there dangling. Rick's just looking at him. <laughs> I don't remember that guy's name. I'm sure he was a Hilltop guy. I, I should, really should have watched the last episode of season six before watching this. Refresh my memory a little bit. Yo, Rick, stop sla- Oh, no, God, flashback to Carl. Um, Negan's talking shit up through the finger, and I bet you thought you are all going to grow old together. It's like, ah. Oh. Rick's basically in the fetus position, crawling up like, ah. No. Oh, Negan's just talking shit like, think about what happened. Rick's still stuck on top of that RV. God damn, Rick. When are you going to show us who... <gasps> okay, here we are. I was about to say, when are we going to show who gets killed? But, um... <laughs> Everyone's lined up. This could be it. We could be seeing the person who gets killed. Everyone's lined up. Negan's... Oh, here's the idea. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It's going to start. Eeny. Meeny. Is that a 99 or is it 100? Mo. Catcher. Tiger. Tiger by his toe. Let's see what I can find in it. Let's see what we can find. See if I can show you the comic book version. Yeah, here we go. So here's the here's the comic book version of it. Obviously, the AMC will copyright the shit out of me if I put this stuff on there. But yeah, uh, that's why it has to be like a compilation. Here it is. Eeny meeny miny mo. Best one. You are. Ah, uh, it. You are it. Is it going to be Glenn? Ah, it. <gasps> oh shit, it's on Glenn. Oh, it's on Maggie. It's on Eugene. It's on Sasha. It's on Rosia. It's on Aaron. It's on Abraham. Daryl. Michonne. Kyle. Back to Rick. He's not even doing any mini money mo anymore. Come on. Got to keep consistent, Negan. Oh, it's Abraham. Abraham has been picked. Oh, shit. Come on, Abraham. Just get up and fucking deck him. Abraham, fight him. Fight this motherfucker. Oh, shit. Abraham just took the seal to the fucking head. Taking it like a champ. Abraham just did take that like a beast, like a tank. Ugh. Suck my nuts. Oh, shit. He just took one right across the head. Oh, no. It's over. It's over. Oh, that's like the fourth time. The fifth time. The sixth. It's over for Abraham. Holy shit. Wow. Did you hear that? Suck my nuts. Abraham is a beast. He is a beast. Oh, Negan's not finished with him. 
He's still going. Holy fuck, is he still going? He's still going. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> oh, he's still going. No. No, he's still going. Oh, he is still going. He is still going. He is, fuck me, he is... Wow, Abraham has just got like a, a blooded stump of what was a head. It just looks like neck and blood. Oh my goodness, I guess that's what someone's head looks like when you cave it in with a baseball bat. Oh, that's where he flicked the blood right across like Rick's face. Oh shit. Oh, Negan's like, look at my dirty girl. Oh, look at the blood just drip off that. Holy shit. Holy sh- Holy shit. To be- To be honest with you, like, for me, Abraham isn't the biggest sort of, like, death, because, like, Glenn in the comics was a real fan favourite, and it's like, whoa! And Abraham was meant to take the arrow to the eye, so... Oh shit, he's like to Rosita, were you together? Uh, they were, but, you know, he were- He was banging someone else. Oh, there was a reason for all of this. Red? Oh, Negan. <laughs> Negan's like, you just took six or seven... Oh, um, there you just see this shot of, like, Abraham... What is that? Abraham's kind of head left. That was pretty brutal. That was pretty brutal. Oh, Daryl just got up and just fucking chin, Just chinned Negan. Oh, shit. Is Daryl next? Oh, no. <laughs> Get ready, fanboys and fangirls. Daryl Dixon's about to get the sealed. And come on, Rick, get, do something about it. Surely you would just all go out fighting instead of just being on your knees. Oh, Negan's like, that's a no-no. Negan's like, none of that shit flies. Oh, what's he going to do to Daryl, man? In comes Dwight, the original Daryl Dixon Dwight, the original leather vest wearing crossbow guy. In the comment section down below, when it finally happens, who is going to win that death battle? Is it going to be Dwight or Daryl? Considering he is kind of like Negan's left hand man, if, if Trevor is his right, or Simon should we say. But he's Trevor, he's GTA Trevor to me and he always will be. No, no. Nothing's going to happen to Daryl. He's getting dragged back. That's just weird. Negan's like, that's not how it works. The first one's free. Negan's like, oh, shut that shit down. Uh-oh. He's right next to Glenn. Glenn's not even paying attention. Come on now. Negan's like, well, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you're dealing with. He is a Who's he going for next? He could go for a Zeta. First impressions are important. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He needs you to know him. Nigga's a man of his word. Oh, shit. Someone else is going to get it. Glenn! Oh, Glenn! No, oh, Glenn! Glenn! Oh, fuck. Glenn took two devastating shots. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, Glenn's eyes popping out. Holy fuck. Look at this scene. Ah, it's perfect. It's identical to the comic book. Oh, my God. His eyes popped out and it's gross as fuck. Oh, we're back to, we're back to Rick on top of the RV. Oh, shit. Negan's talking the same lines, buddy. Are you still there? You're trying to speak. Oh, fuck. Oh. Nigga's like, this is gross as shit. Maggie, you'll find you. No, Glenn, you're not finding anyone in that fucking state, brother. You're finished. If you even manage to survive that, you're brain damaged for, like, the rest of your life. That's if you can survive that. His head is fucked. That's like car crash fucked. Oh, Negan's just like, oh, I can see this is hard on you guys. Holy fuck. He's sorry. Finish off Glenn. Come on, man. Just put him out of his misery. Put Glenn out of his misery. I've got to show you more of the comic. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, and he's just identical to the comics. He just smacked him in the jaw. Glenn has officially just taken the fucking... Oh. I'm just going to stick this here and you can look at it. This is what's happening. Glenn is getting his head fudded and thud and thud and thud. And everyone else is just crying and looking in fucking shock. And oh my god, Negan's still going. Negan's still going. I would have liked Maggie to maybe have swept this round and made him a... Negan's like, you bunch of pussies. Oh shit. He's just getting started. Oh my, Glenn. Glenn, we hardly knew ye. Oh shit, Glenn. Oh my god. Glenn is like still twitching and moving. And his fucking head is worse than Abraham's. Oh, the vampire bat fucking quote. Oh, dear God. What an episode. The best Walking Dead episode ever so far. We're like, how far are we into this episode? We're exactly 20 minutes in. And it's greatness. Well, Glenn's gone and Abraham's gone. Who else is going to fucking go? Holy crap. What an episode so far. The shock and suspense value. Woo-wee! Negan! Oh, Negan is still talking shit to these guys. Is the joke that bad? Yes, it is. Ah. <laughs> Nick is still on top of... Uh, Rick, Nick. Rick is still on top of... Oh, man, I'm stunned. I'm stunned that two characters have generally just died. We're back with Rick on top of the IV. RV. He's like, yo, Rick, get me my goddamn axe, boy. Fucking hell. He's still talking shit to him. Rick, I cannot believe. I cannot believe that two main characters have died. I thought maybe they'll kill like a fodder character, like an Aaron or maybe a Eugene, but... Well, okay, so he's firing up through the RV roof. You better run, Rick. Oh, he's jumped onto the fucking hanging zombie. Whoa, what is Rick's plan here? There's nowhere to go and you're hanging onto a zombie that could bite you. And you've probably got 20 zombies underneath you. Oh shit, the music. I don't know. It's supposed to be like Snatcher music. <laughs> oh shit, the zombie's head's coming off. Oh fuck, Rick's gonna drop. How's Rick getting out of this? How is Rick getting out of this? He's in deep shit. Oh, Negan. Oh, Negan? So Negan's out the back of the RV. <laughs> Rick, why is Negan helping him? <laughs> I don't get it. He's like, the clock is ticking, Rick. <laughs> what could still happen? Oh, shit. Rosita just got hit with a baseball bat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sasha just got taken out. Okay, Rick must be hallucinating or imagining what's going to happen. Oh, there's the hatchet. Oh, there's a zombie. <laughs> oh, just ruined that zombie. Oh, Eugene just took the baseball bat. This must have been from the scenes where uh, Maggie took the baseball bat to the head and like spat all her teeth out at Negan. Oh, there goes Aaron. <laughs> what the fuck? That would have been crazy if he kills everyone and just leaves Rick. Oh, there goes Maggie. That's a totally different scene than the one that I watched. Maggie gets fucked up in the, this alternative death scene, I guess. Unless she dies later, I don't know. Oh, oh, there goes fucking Michonne. Oh, Rick, Rick's getting over... Oh, there goes fucking Carl. Oh, the zombies... What the fuck? This zombie had like a big pussy tumour fucking thing. Oh, Negan to the rescue again. <laughs> Negan is just firing from the hip with a fucking assault rifle and getting headshots. Like, I call bullshit on that. You don't even look at where you're fucking shooting. Craziness. <sighs> oh. <laughs> He's like, hand, like, give me that hatchet back, I want it. Oh, Negan's like, attaboy. Oh, that hatchet just covered in blood. <laughs> Crazy. 
Look at that. This is honestly a massive improvement from the comics because he basically just caves Glenn's head in and goes, well, see you later. <laughs> and then fucks off, <laughs> essentially. We're here, prick. Okay, so he's back. He's back at the uh, the site of the massacre. <laughs> Negan's like, you've been king shit for a long time, but that ends. Negan is Negan is the greatest shit talker in The Walking Dead by far. There's no one close to him. Oh god, imagine Shane versus Negan. Crazy Shane. <laughs> you can imagine this is like if Shane lived, he probably would have become Negan. <laughs> but without the charisma and absolute ridiculous cockiness. Oh, Negan's found some like antiseptic. Fuck is he gonna do with that? Ah, oh, he's like, you were in charge. Oh, the hatchet, what's he gonna do with it? Just wiping the axe on Rick. Rick ain't doing shit. <laughs> clip, clip, that's over. He, why is he cleaning that axe off, man? Is he going to take Rick's hand? Holy shit. Is he going to take Rick's hand? You can still lead. You can lead for Negan. Lovely. <laughs> Negan has certainly made quite the impression on Rick. And he hands him back a nice clean hat. <laughs> With a big shit eating grin on his face. Brilliant. <laughs> Andrew Lincoln is such a good actor. You can just see in Rick's eyes that he is totally broken. Totally broken. He is traumatised and he is fucked up. Take that axe, boy. Take that axe. Oh, so he's kicked him back out. <laughs> Just by the scruff of his neck, like, pulling along Rick. It's basically daybreak now. Like, fuck me. Let me ask you something, Rick. Nigga's like, do you know what this trip is? That trip was about teaching Rick to fucking get down on his knees and fucking obey. That's what that shit was about. Speak when spoken to, boy. <laughs> okay. Negan's like, that's the other way you look to me. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. Look. <laughs> oh shit! Negan's like, you're still looking at me the same way. Negan's going to punish someone else. He can't be killing three characters. Come on now. You can't kill that much of the cast. Negan's like, should I give you another chance? Oh dear. It's like, yeah. Give, give, he Rick's like, yeah, I need another chance. Oh, oh shit. Here it is. Oh shit. Uh, oh, Abraham's caved in head. Uh oh. So they're going to put some guns to the back of their heads. Oh fuck, what's going on now? What is going on now? What the fuck is Negan up to? Oh, looking at fucking Michonne. Oh, niggas like put it at the level of their noses so it blows a hole in their head. It'll be a real mess. <laughs> oh dear. Fuck it now. What is he gonna do? 
I'm just drained. I'm just emotionally drained already. Oh, kid. Carl. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Is he going to get Carl to chop off Rick's hand? <laughs> what? Come over here, Carl. I can't wait to see the relationship between Carl and Negan. It's going to be so interesting to see in a, in a TV series and what they're going to do with it. Are you a South Pole? Uh-oh. Is Carl a lefty? Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. What is he going to do to fucking Carl's arm? <laughs> the fuck? Did that hurt? It's supposed to hurt. <laughs> Carl, Carl is just not afraid of Negan. Uh oh, Carl has to get on the floor. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't tell me he's going to cave in Carl's head as well. What the fuck? Uh, hey, Trevor, Simon. Trevor, you got a pen? Look at it, that is Trevor from Grand Theft Auto. Just call him Trevor. He's still a psychotic, crazy character. I mean, like, Trevor. Just call him Trevor. Negan's pulled out a sharpie. What the fuck? He's gonna draw a bell end on his head. Cold as a warlock's bull sack. Oh, fuck. Oh, Rick's begging. Rick is begging. Please don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Negan's like, I ain't doing shit. You are? Ah! <laughs> He's going to get him to cut. Fuck. Oh, no. He he wants him to cut fucking Carl's arm off. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's got to process it. Cut Carl's arm off or everyone dies. Ah. He's going to kill Rick eventually. Oh, shit. Michonne's like, you don't have to do this. And Mika's like, you understand. Yeah, yeah, you understand. Rick, Rick don't understand the punishment. You've just seen two of your best friends get your head caved in. I think he understands that shit. Nigga's like, this is a screwed up thing. <laughs> this is a salami slice, 45 degree cleans cut. Mm. <laughs> the kid will be fine properly. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Chop, chop, this needs to happen now. Negan, the mind games that Negan are playing. Oh, it could be me. It could, it could be you, Rick, but it doesn't send the right message. Oh, you can do it to Rick. Huh. Oh, shit, this is the only way. Oh, fuck. Rick, pick up that axe. Not making the decision is a big decision. Oh, Negan. Oh, there's Abraham's caved in head again. Uh. Oh, Negan's like, you're going to make me count. Oh, God, he's a beast. He's counting. Oh, no, he's counting like three to one. Rick, Rick is broken, man. Rick's got the snot hanging out of his mouth. He's fucking crying and begging like a baby. Oh, shit. Rick is broken. Rick is fucking... I've never seen Rick so broken. When the guy tried to fucking rape him, he fucking stabbed him through the throat. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Rick's going to cut his hand off. Carl's like, just do it. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he's going to cut his fucking hand off. The tension building in the music, amazing. The music in this background is incredible. Da -da. Oh, it stops. Oh, fuck. Niggas like, you answer to me, you provide for me. 
You belong to me. Oh, Rick, Rick's begging like a fucking dog. Oh, shit. God, Negan's amazing. Negan has officially broken Rick. Negan has now made Rick a pussy. And Negan has made Rick a pussy. That's the look he wants to see. A broken, petrified, scared man. Oh my fucking God. Negan, the greatest... Fuck, this is why... This is why Negan... Is the greatest Walking Dead fucking villain. Without any question. Everyone did it together. Oh shit. Niggas like the dead guys on the ground get the spirit award for helping. <laughs> Today was a productive day. Oh my god. My god. What an episode. What a episode. Negan's still just laying down the law. You need to fucking bow down to Negan and do his sh fucking bidding. Shit has changed. They they have nailed Negan perfectly. My God, have they nailed Negan perfectly. This is a big fear because, you know... Uh, oh, shit. Dwight is stealing Daryl. Yeah, like I was saying... Uh, the governor was done wrong. I mean, they went for an interesting twist with him, uh, trying to make him sympathetic uh, and seeing the downfall of him. Didn't really work. You need to have psychotic governor from the beginning. But Negan, woo, man, if if this is what we're going to get from Negan every fucking episode. Oh, Negan's like, ne oh, Negan says Daryl's got guts like a bitch like you. Daryl is now Negan's. Nigga's like, not today, not tomorrow, not today, not tomorrow. <laughs> Nigga's like, what's Daryl's name? Daryl. He looks like a Daryl. He's like, he will bring Daryl to him and get Rick to chop him up if he fucks about. Brilliant. Absolute brilliant. <laughs> I guess Negan can't say fuck, so he's going to say shit. I think that's going to be his new word, shit. Ah. Oh. Negan's going to be back in a week. <laughs> Ta -ta. So that's essentially what happens in the comic. He just bashes Clem's head in and he goes, well, see you later. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you that shit. There you go, look. Just from the comic book variation of this. He just sees, uh, breaks Rick a little bit, and just goes, well, see you later. Get me my shit. But that was great. What an episode. This has got to be close to the end. Okay, we got, like, less than ten minutes left. Belter. Absolute belter of a fucking episode. Probably, probably the best Walking Dead episode I'm a massive, massive fan of that first episode just because it's like a mini zombie movie. But this one, phew, shit, is it coming close. Very close. I might have to watch episode one just to fucking see what, what wins out at some point. <laughs> but holy crap, this is a good episode. Stammels. So Negan's guys are just like all walking around and moving off and Rick's group is just fucking broken looking at the floor fuck me they've gone through some traumatic shit well one of the guys was taking pictures of the of a uh, Glenn's caved in fucking head so I guess when they went to that little compound they for whatever reasons maybe that was him that takes pictures <laughs> so that means Negan's caved in a lot of fucking heads and silence they've all fucked off and then just Silence, they're sat in a ring. Oh, Maggie's getting up. Where's Glenn's body? Because Abraham's in between them. Oh, Maggie's getting up. Going over to Glenn's corpse. His 
bastion corpse. <clears throat> oh shit, Maggie's like, you need to go get ready. For vengeance, Rick. To fight them. You are going to lose. You need the kingdom to help your asses. You need King Ezekiel, you need Shiva, you need all that shit. They got a tiger. Rick's like, we were just... Rick was all gung-ho about taking out that one compound, and now he's like, oh no, they got an army, we can't possibly fight him. Rick's a pussy now. Rick is a broken pussy. Maggie's just like, I'll go alone and fight him. <laughs> Maggie's got more balls than fucking Rick at the moment. Uh. She's like, oh, you're out here for me. Yeah, that's right. If it wasn't for you, those guys wouldn't be dead. Maggie's just trying to get rid of everyone. So she can go for that vengeance quest. Berserk style, get the bailiff. Michonne's like, we're not letting you go. I don't think you've got a choice in that. Rick's like, it's not going to happen. Rick, Rick don't want to fight them for shit. Sasha, though, Sasha's got a big pair of balls on her as well. Here she comes. Sasha's like she's going to get him there. What the fuck? Is Sasha and Maggie going to go on a fucking death run? Because like, they're nuts. Absolutely coconuts. <laughs> Taking who with what? So has Maggie lost the baby? I can't remember. Oh, so Sasha's also... Uh, is she going to join the, the trio of fucking let's go get revenge for our men? <laughs> Okay, she's going to take him. Yeah, bury him. Bury Ahab. And what's ever left of his head. <clears throat> God damn. That was... What an, what an impactful episode. Maggie wants to move him by himself. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. Rick! Rick is just pleasing and fucking... Rick is a broken man. Holy shit. The acting on Andrew Lincoln's great. He's our family too. Yeah, he was your family. You let him die, Rick. Oh, there's Abraham's head in the background. Oh, Eugene. Eugene's going to help. Abraham's a big old boy to move, even if he is missing his head. Like, what would you do? Like, if his head was caved in, would you take parts of his skull? Oh, shit, we've got the Negan saying, I think, I think you're all going to get old together, eating Sunday dinner together at the end of the table. <laughs> Nika's like, it don't work like that. Oh, so there's a flash of the whole group at the table. All eating, you thought, uh, Glenn and his little kid, Abraham and Sasha, everyone looking all happy and kumbaya-ish. That shit ain't fucking happening no more. <laughs> nope. Ah, oh, it's going to be so weird without Glenn on the show anymore. One of the original Atlanta group people, gone. Oh, so here comes a little zombie. Is Rick going to kill him? Oh no, Rick goes in the thing. Oh, that's to me, that's a nice bit of symbolism of like, the zombies have never really been the threat in this series, 
even though they are, but it's mainly about the survivors and the people like the governor and Negan and Shane going fucking nuts. You know, that people always remain the same and are always dangerous. It was kind of like one of the themes of Walking Dead, isn't it? So, it's sort of like, ah, there's a zombie, fuck him, I don't give a shit. Rick's going to drive off. Oh, the zombie is eating the leftover bits of, uh, I guess that's Glenn's brain. <laughs> nice. I thought they only ate, like, living shit. But, uh, okay, whatever. But there's just the look in Rick's eyes, man. He's a broken man. It's, it's going to be so interesting to see how the fuck does Rick come from this brokenness to, like, all that war, and he's just a grizzled... I love it. I love Rick in the comics at the moment because, you know, he's a grizzled, broken-down motherfucker. But, yo, that was the episode. Fucking great. If you enjoyed this, uh, give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe. I do loads of anime, manga, comic books, video game stuff. Obviously, lots of Walking Dead stuff. So, yo, may the sun never set on the British anime empire. Yo, Negan and Lucy.